I'm Melissa Oden, and I'm the survivor of a failed saline infusion abortion. In August of 1977, my biological mother, as a 19-year-old college student, had this abortion forced upon her against her will by her mother, my maternal grandmother. This type of procedure involved injecting a toxic salt solution into the amniotic fluid surrounding me in the womb. The intent of that toxic salt solution was to poison and scald me to death. Typically, that procedure lasted about 72 hours. The child would soak in that toxic salt solution, being poisoned and scalded, and that solution would turn the skin bright red as it peeled it away and moved internally into the organs. After the child's life was successfully ended, they would induce labor with the intent of that deceased child then being expelled from the womb. We actually know through my own medical records that I didn't soak in that toxic salt solution for just three days, but actually five. while well, they tried time and time again to induce my birth mother's labor. On that day, I was delivered believing that I would be a successful abortion, otherwise known as a deceased child. But here I was accidentally born alive. When I was delivered alive in that abortion procedure, I weighed a little less than three pounds, two pounds, 14 ounces, which indicated to the medical professionals that my birth mother was much further along in her pregnancy than the 18 to 20 weeks that the abortionist had written on my medical records. And in fact, when a neonatologist examined me, he remarked he estimated me to be about 31 weeks. You would never know by looking at me today that when I survived that failed abortion, the prognosis for my life was very poor. I suffered from severe respiratory and liver problems, seizures. The doctors thought I had a fatal heart defect initially because of the amount of distress that I was under. And so they were very guarded about what my future might hold. But I have continued to live and I have been loved. I was loved mightily by my adoptive parents, no matter what they were told about what my life was going to look like. And now I am loved by my biological mother and members of her family who now stand by my side. <music>